Hey guys, my name is Daniel Jones and I've been drumming for many years and been touring as a multi-instrumentalist and a drummer for a few years. In the years I've been touring, I have found that in modern music, there are sounds that the acoustic drum kit just can't replicate. So what I use is a drum pad. Now, even though there are many different drum pads out there, today we're gonna to talk about the Roland SPD-SX. We're gonna talk about how to upload samples onto the SPD-SX. We're gonna talk about how you can use it for running tracks and touch on using it as a MIDI controller. Then in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I blend the samples and the acoustic kit in a worship set. Click the link below the video, enter your email, and we'll send you part two. Now let's get started. Now, this right here is the Roland SPD-SX. One of many drum samplers. <laughs> uh, what's really sweet about this thing is that it has nine pads. Um, that's, that's a lot of surface area to put sounds on. It's pretty dope. It has a stereo out, so you can run to left and right. Um, I mount it a certain way just because that's how I was taught and what I saw. So I have it to the left of my hi-hat. makes it easier to get over, and I like trying to figure out independent stuff. But I've seen people have it where the rack tom is. I've seen people have it where the ride symbol is. Just do what you feel. It's great. Um, now, it's another thing that's really cool about the SPDSX is that you don't have to just go get sounds immediately. It has stock sounds already on it. Let's find one. Oh, this is called 808 Verb. That's nice. So that comes with it. Uh, so it's very like 80s hip hop and 90s hip hop. It's a 909 delay. Uh, when you upload samples, you can put acoustic drum samples on there. You can put loops. You can, anything you, you can think of, tambourines, percussion instruments, guitar licks, anything. You can, if, it, if it's a MP3 or a waveform, you can put it on here and trigger it. It's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna show you how to upload sounds into this device. Let's see. All right, now before we get started with that, you have to do a couple things first before you plug it into the computer. So I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's a bunch of buttons here and there's a button to the right that says menu. You're gonna click that. Then you're gonna scroll over, scroll down and over to set up, then you'll click enter, which is right above the plus sign. Then you're gonna go down to option, click enter. Uh, and then you can scroll down to something that says USB mode because in order to use this SPDSX for MIDI or to get samples, you have to have a USB cable. So you go to the, SP you go to the USB mode and you have two options on this mode. You have Wave Manager or Audio slash MIDI. Now we wanna upload samples to this device, so we're gonna make sure, and you wanna make sure that this is on Wave Manager. Very important, which is kinda of cool because it's Wave Manager here and the, the software is called Wave Manager. So I'm gonna plug in my SPD. Make sure you know how to plug in a USB because sometimes I don't. <laughs> Makes it fun. All right. I can see on my sample pad, it says computer is connected. That means I can't just unplug it yet. Okay, so I'm gonna open up Wave Manager. All right, now when you see this portion, so select device, let's click that real quick. You'll see all of these. You wanna make sure you select SPDSX because why would you want to save it anywhere else? Hit OK. It'll load. Look at this beauty. Crazy. All right, so if we roll through the kit number, see a bunch of different things. Previous sounds have been loaded. We'll start on this new kit. Um, 
if you look here to the left, it says wave list. You click drums and perk, it shows you all the sounds that are already on. To look, the 808, 808, 909, acoustics. You got some acoustic drums in here. So this is the things that come with the SPDSX already. But we want to load up some new samples right there, right there. Now you can get samples from a thumb drive, a hard drive, online. Just make sure you, how, wherever you get them from, make sure you get them on your desktop. I put just a few on my desktop right here. I put them in this thing. So what you do is select the samples that you want. Let's just have some uploaded already. But let me just grab this one. So you drag it to new samples. And there it is. I have a couple in there, so this is like analog number four. <laughs> so what I, what I can do is, let's start a new kit. Let's name it <sighs> Worship Online, W-O, in the house. All right, here we go. Uh, so I'll take this analog snare that I just brought in and just drag it right there in main. I'm gonna make sure it's main sub, different thing. So make sure you put it in the main, analog snare. Uh, if you have just a, <laughs> a kit with one sound, that's great, but you want to make it worth your while. So let's add a few more things. Uh, I like this hat, this hi-hat sound. So I'm going to bring that in here. This is just how I arrange it. You can arrange your sounds however you want. Do with do what's comfortable to you. I like having my hi-hat here so I can on the right side. And then I'll put like a kick. Let's see. Yeah, a good kick here. Like that, and let's go use some of the old samples. Uh, if I remember correctly, I like that clap. No, I like this clap. Clap there, and done. All right, you have completed a kit. You've used uh, the waves from the wave list. You've imported some and you can do this for all day long. You can get as many things into folders or on your desktop and transfer it over to here. Now before you eject the uh, SPDSX, make sure that you select it to be ejected. I just use, if you have an Apple computer, just do Command E takes care of it and then I click exit quit yes disconnect the SVDSX let's give these sounds a try so exit out of your menu that you're probably still in because you want to make sure that everything was in the right area see I have a couple oh W I worship one line here we go see what it sounds like pretty cool. There you have it. So that's how you upload samples from your computer into the SPDSX. All right. Now I'm going to show you a way to use the SPDSX as a way to run tracks and click. Now there are many ways to do it through this. Um, this is just a way we're going to use it we, as a sample. We're going to take samples and run click and tracks. Pretty gnarly. Um, so first we have to go back into Wave Manager. So replug back in your USB. All right, now we use Open Wave Manager. I just opened it, so I'm just gonna click it down here. Select Storage. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so we were on this kit to create our Worship Online kit. Oh, fun, trap happy kit. Now I'm gonna take a, so a new kit. I have the uh, track and loop for real love, I like things in all caps, it's fun. So I'm gonna upload the track and click just like I uploaded these samples right here. 
Um, so I'm going to go to my folder because they're just WAV files. Go to my folder. Select. This is the drum. This is the um, the tracks with the drums. So I'm going to grab oh, this. Drag it over here. Importing WAV file. It's a hefty one, so it's going to take some time to upload. Boom, baby. There it is. Okay. And I got to get the click because, I mean, if you can play to a track without a click in a full band setting, teach me your ways. Got to have the click. Drag the click over. Same thing. It's going to take some time. Almost. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. Victory. Yes. Okay. Let's close out of this. Now you're just going to drag these waveforms onto the pad, just like you did for all of these. So I'm going to go and put click there. And the tracks there. And then you'll command E. Command E out of, uh, to get rid of the SPDXX off your computer. Exit out. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. Now, you can't just start hitting the click and the track. If you do, really weird things will happen. So you have to change some settings on the SPD. So go back into your trusty menu. Menu. Go to the pad setting, which you can find. You may be on kit, you may be on system or setup. Scroll up or scroll over to pad, hit enter. Um, find the pad that you want to change um, by using these arrows that are on this side. Um, usually just up and uh, like side to side, up and down. Yes, perfect. Um, so it has different settings on this particular setting. Um, for the pad, it has either main, mode, or sub. You're going to go to mode. Um, make sure I'm on the right one. Oh, yeah, I am. Perfect. Um, so when you get to the mode setting of the pad, it will see, you'll see things like single, a template for single, loop, off, trigger type, shot, dynamics, on, poly or mono, poly. That's the... Um, normal baseline setting of every pad on the SPDSX. If you want to run tracks the way that we just uploaded these WAV files, click and loop, you're going to have to change the pad settings. So go to make sure the loop is off because that'll be hilarious. You just keep playing real love for like 45 minutes, um, which is that if that's what you want to do, go for it. It's a great song. So go to trigger type, it says shot that needs to be on alt because it's different. Then you go down to dynamics. You want to make sure that's off as well, because if it's on, you know, you'll have to hit it um, a certain way for the pad to respond. With dynamics off, you can hit it any certain way and it'll work. Um, so that one pad, this pad is ready to go. Let me scroll over to the next one. Yes. And it says shot. Um, I need to change it to alt, scroll down, dynamics on, dynamics off. Now you're ready to go. This is where it gets cool. So exit out, there's exit right next to enter. It says real love. So I want to start the click. It's happening. Now at any point, I have to line it up. I can hit tracks. Pretty cool. And because it is on alt, I can stop and start anytime I want. See if I can line it up. That's pretty good. You can play the whole song like this. There are obviously some um, 
there will be there could be problems <laughs> if you only do this. But this this is a really quick solution if you're in a if you're in a bind. Uh, you could put both click and track on the same pad and have some running out the subs and then at the mains, uh, you can keep on two separate pads. That's just a way that you are able to run tracks. It's pretty cool. Another way you can use the SPDSX is through MIDI. Now, before you can do that, let's go back to our menu button. Go to setup, because we're just on pad. Hit enter. Go to options, because we were just there too. It says USB mode, wave manager. We don't want wave manager anymore. We want audio slash MIDI. So, if, and when you're in that mode, you can take the USB cord that I used earlier, plug it back into your computer, and it acts like a MIDI keyboard. Through MIDI mapping, you can use the SPDSX to stop, start, scroll up, scroll down in your Ableton or Logic session. That's pretty cool. Even further, you can create drum loops and racks alongside those MIDI maps so you can have drum samples and stopping and starting. It's pretty cool. That's just one of the many functions the SPDSX has to offer you and your team. Now, just to recap, we talked about what an SPDSX even is, how to upload samples, how to use those samples as a method of running tracks and click, and how this SPDSX can be used as a MIDI controller. Now, let's jump into part two of this video where we're going to jam out and see how I can use these tools with the kit. Now, if you haven't already, click that link below the video into your email and we'll send you part two. Are you ready? Let's jump right into this video. <laughs> 